All right, everybody. What we are doing right here is we are looking at the First Scope 76 tabletop telescope. Now, I'm recording this both for my class and for people in general, but uh, as you can see, there's some dust on this one. Um, but it's a basic reflector telescope with some eyepieces. This is around 50, 60 bucks, usually 70 bucks on telescope.com or something like that. Uh, so what I want to do is just sort of look at, well, what uh, what's in here and how do we use it? So here we go. Let's unbox this thing. Okay, so what you got going on here is you've got your main telescope. I'll explain more about that later. You've got your two eyepieces here. Okay. One, two. You've got a viewfinder and you've got a little lens cloth. Okay. Now, you do also have some instructions in here. Uh, and I have my students keep the plastic bag on them and have it so that the instruction sheet is on the outside. This way you can look at it later if you don't have internet access. But I'm gonna put that aside. I'm gonna concentrate on this. How do you use this telescope, okay? How do you use it? Well, here's what we're gonna do, okay? First of all, let's take a look at how it actually works, okay? First of all, this little knob tightens and loosens. Okay. And that allows you to fix what angle you're looking at okay. and turn around pretty easily with that little base plate. There. Now, in order to actually make this work, you probably want to take this off. Now, this little yellow tag is nothing but saying, hey, don't look at the sun with this thing. Duh. Uh, but you kind of have to do that no matter what. Uh, so here's what we got going on. So we've got the azimuth, which is which direction you're looking at, and the altitude adjustment. Now in order for you to actually see anything, you've got to take this little lens cap off. And as you might be able to see in here, is there's a mirror down there, right at the bottom. And that mirror, what it does, is it's actually in the shape of sort of a bowl. And what that does, is because it's bowl shaped, it sort of reflects all the light. The light's coming in from the side, straight, hits that little bowl shaped mirror, and kind of concentrates here, okay? And then, if you can tell, there's another diagonal mirror. It's kind of hard to see, but there's a diagonal mirror that bounces the light back up to here, which is where you put your eyepiece, okay? So, um, I don't know, let's just say we're trying to, uh, Find, find something pretty easy and we want to put an eyepiece in, we want to look through, uh, what we do is we unscrew these a little bit, not all the way, just a little bit to loosen them, pull out the little cap. By the way, when you're doing this, keep your lens caps together in the same spot and put them in a reliable place where you won't lose them. They're easy to lose. Then you take your eyepiece. Now you notice there are two eyepieces. One says K10, that's a 10 millimeter eyepiece. And this says 20, that's a 20 millimeter eyepiece. Now, 
Hmm. Which one do you think will be better? Well, here's the thing. The bigger the number, the bigger the focal length of the eyepiece, which means the smaller the thing will be, or the less magnification, but the wider your field of view. So this is what we want to start with, the 20 millimeters. So we're going to just uncap that, put it in there, and just gently tighten these. You don't need to use any more than basic level thumb power, okay? Uh, oh, but wait, we forgot one thing. This guy. This is the viewfinder, okay? Um, what you want to do is find the two screws that were on here before. Oh, look, I actually found them in one of the bags. But the two screws that don't really look like screws, okay? And they go right on here. But first, we attach this little viewfinder to it. There we go. All right. So here's what you got. Take the lens caps off. Put them with the other lens caps so they are all together. And put them off to the side. And what you have here is a nice little beginner telescope that's actually good. So the first thing that you need to do in order to actually do something with this is let's say you want to find a target. Use the finder first. Okay. This is the lowest magnification, which means you're going to see the widest amount of uh, space and your target's going to be somewhere in there. And what you want to do is once you find your target, you move until your target is right in the middle of this. Less magnification, but wide field of view, so it's pretty easy to find your target. So, you find your target. Okay. I don't know, let's say uh, I'm trying to look at... Uh, let's see. I don't, oh, I know. I want to look at that nebula over there. Okay. So, let me... I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but I found the nebula in my field of view. Okay. So now, what I do is... Um, I want to make sure this is focused, so I can use this to focus. Okay. And I want to find that same nebula in this eyepiece right here. Now to find it in that eyepiece right there, okay, um, I'm going to have to move it around. So let me just make sure I'm looking at the same nebula. Uh, in fact, actually for demonstration purposes, I think I'm going to just look at the paper towel holder. Okay, let me show you that paper towel holder. Hopefully this you can see. There's the paper towel holder. Okay, and now what I'm going to do on what I'm going to do on this is I'm going to put that paper towel holder. Uh, in fact, I'm going to put the text, the Fort Howard. I'm going to put that little logo right in the middle, so I know what I'm looking for. I'm looking for that logo right in the middle. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to look through here and I'm going to try to find it. Now the first thing you'll notice is it is out of focus. Okay, So what I got to do first is look through and get it into focus. How do I focus it? This little knob right here focuses it in and out. Ooh. Looks like that came a little bit out of its nesting there. Let me twist that back in. Okay, and then let me refocus. All right, let me make sure this is still looking at exactly that little part there, and good. Now I'm going to look and I'm going to see, oh, that is not lined up. If you see, you can't even see the, um, the little logo. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put that logo right in the middle of my field of view here. I know you're looking like right at my head right now. And I'm going to put that logo right in the middle. Let's see. Hopefully you can see that. Okay. And now I'm going to adjust this with these three thumb screws. I'm going to adjust this 
so that this is now pointing right toward the logo. Okay. This might take a little while, it takes a little practice. Okay. Yeah, loosen some of the screws, tighten some of the other screws. Okay. It's sort of a game of trial and error. You just keep moving this around. So you're gonna loosen this top one and tighten the other ones and just sort of wiggle it just a little bit and see how it goes. Ah, there we go, that's pretty good. So now, if you can see this, which I hope you can, I have the logo in there, and I have the logo in the center in here. And that's pretty important because you gotta have this stuff aligned. If you don't have it aligned, when you start looking for something, uh, let's say uh, let's say I move over to that nebula, okay? If I find it in my viewfinder and I go to look, it won't be in my eyepiece. That's not going to work very well, right? We want these to be aligned to be looking at the same thing. All right, so uh, so here's what you do at night, okay? Uh, in fact, now's a pretty good time to go out and take a look at Venus uh, as it's setting. Uh, or in the morning, take a look at Jupiter. Jupiter's pretty good in this type of scope. Um, so what you do is you find that bright little point of light that's in the sky, and you point this right at it. And you look and you move it around, and you get it to where you actually see it. And then you look through here, make sure it's aligned. You focus this so that you can see it then, and only then, can you switch eyepieces? See, this eyepiece is the 20 millimeter eyepiece. Uh, Jupiter is going to be, or whatever you're looking at, is going to be a little brighter, but not as big in this. Now you take that out, plop it in here, close it back up again, and now you take out your 10 millimeter. Your 10 millimeter eyepiece is higher power, okay? So you just stick it right back in there, and you're going to have to refocus. Okay. But once you put that in there, Jupiter or whatever you're looking at is going to be bigger, but it's the same amount of light going in, so it's actually going to be a little bit dimmer. So you want to look at it that way. It's going to be bigger, but dimmer. And now you have a telescope to use. Um, again, really all you're doing is whenever you go out and you look for something, you're twisting this so that your viewfinder points assuming it's aligned, your viewfinder points, get it set, then put in your 20 millimeter eyepiece, okay? get your object perfectly centered, and that might be just good enough view. Uh, sometimes I just use 20 millimeters, it's good for what I'm looking at. And then, if you wanna look a little bit closer, you put in the 10 millimeter and refocus. That's really it. The nice thing about this is that it's just, it's like a point and shoot camera. There aren't a crazy amount of settings. You're, you're um, just pointing it and, well, you're not shooting anything, but you're pointing it and collecting the light and observing from there. So uh, this is your first step in astronomy and uh, very good luck. That should be enough. Now, I also have to mention cleanup. Okay, this is very important because if you don't put it away correctly, it may break, all right? Now, if you're at home and you have a nice place to keep this, the only thing that you have to do is first go back to your lens caps, okay? First off, put the little lens caps back on the viewfinder or the finder scope, okay? Put them back on and take out your eyepiece, unscrew these little thumb screws, pull that out, Put that back in, cap it up, and make sure you have your other eyepiece. Drop it in gent. By the way, with eyepieces, hold on the side. Never touch the lens. Don't do that. It'll smudge it up and make it terrible. So hold it by the sides gently. Put that together. So you've got your two eyepieces there. Don't forget to bring the focus back in and 
put your focus cap in and just gently tighten, nothing much, okay? So if you have a shelf to put this on, I would say just get your last lens cap, which is this one. There you go. And just let it go down. Tighten it up nicely. And there you go. You can just sort of store this on your shelf. Now, you just got to be careful of this because if it gets loose, okay, it's going to hit the bottom here. And that's, that's not good. That messes up your alignment. Uh, so if you're home and you have this, I would say just keep this on the shelf just like this. Now, if you're one of my students and you need to transport it or whatever, what you need, or put it back in the box, what you need to do is take the finder scope back off by taking these screws off. Take that off, then turn it back down, tighten it up, okay? Got all of the pieces back here already. So, take your, uh, oh. take your bubble wrap, put the finder scope back in, put the eye pieces back in, nice and gently. I usually put these screws right back on. Harder for them to get lost when they're on the same peg that they belong to. And put everything in here. All of these accessories in the bubble wrap go in the accessory box. Nice and gentle, you shouldn't have to push. If you're pushing, that means you don't have it in right. There we go. Have some other random bag. I'll put that in. Uh, I'll put the warning in there as well. Close that up. There. And the somewhat complicated part is putting it back in the box. So here's what we do. There's that bottom part. Hold it gently. Whenever you hold this, hold it by the handle here, okay? Like a baby. This is like a microscope. Not that babies have handles, but this is like a microscope. You don't hold it by this part. You hold it by the handle and the mount. See these three pieces here? They go into these three holes. You should just plop right in there. And then you've got this piece. But you notice this lines up with this part. Stack them on top of each other, line them up, and I find it is easiest to hold the box open from the side and just sort of scoot it on in there. Just scoot it on in the box. Okay. And if you're just storing it temporarily, that's fine. You don't need the plastic cover, but I would put the plastic cover in there and the accessories in there, the instructions on top, bing, bang, boom, and you are done. It is closed up and ready to be taken back to my class. So there you go. Best of luck. Put any questions on YouTube, I'll help you out, but I hope that is a uh, at least to start on how to use this.